it's easy to throttle and it kicks hard. So I, whoa. Alright y'all, what up, it's your boy Molly. Today we have another scooter. I really promise you, this is not turning into an electric scooter vid, uh, channel. This is like quarantine, we're bored. We just did my mad amounts of shit to drive around the neighborhood. So there goes the truck, my dad's gonna move one of the vehicles. So the guy can pick it up and put it around here because the scooter itself is like 120 pounds. Um, and I think the back is like 140. There he goes. City, so me and my little three-year-old ride around on it all the time. Yeah, that's yeah. what we've been buying is mad scooters because it's damn COVID. Yeah. <laughs> it's the top speed you've gotten on this. Was that uh you know it doesn't have a speedometer, right but I stay up with traffic going like 35 it looks like. Yeah, like down there. Damn, that's fast. I think because uh the scooters we got is 2000 watts, so I'd be surprised if this moves any slower at the same uh wattage. Yeah. Well it's pretty big. Do you have a the fat you know, is your other ones fat tire ones like this or I know those are like the uh regular Kick like scooter ish, I guess. Man, man robots. Yeah. You can you print your name also? Oh. Can I receive Yeah, I got the same exact one. Me and my, my three year old drive around and I live out in Boulder City, so. Okay. I haven't bugged me. Cops ain't nothing bugged me out there, so. I put like a. Sometimes. That's crazy. He was driving in traffic with his shit and the cops ain't bugged. Yeah, it's crazy. Yeah. I literally stopped at a red light while a cop was pulling some ass over. I know they saw yeah. me and they didn't say nothing. Yeah, they don't. I put, like, when I'm riding around with my son, we'll put wear helmets just so they don't bug us. And then I put little, uh, sometimes I have those little bike red lights on the back that flash. I'll put that on the back little bar just, just so they have no reason to really pull me over. You yeah. Know? yeah. Three, four <laughs> times before I charge it. Really? But I mean, I'm driving, Boulder City's not that big, so, you know, I'm not. <laughs> yeah, not so, but I drive probably. 45 minutes to an hour and then it's not even all the way dead and I charge it and then I you know, do the same thing. I just try to draw it out as much nice. as I can before I charge it again. We all riding at night. <laughs> <laughs> it don't take that long to build either. Nice. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Just Got the box open. These tires are as thick as I expect them to be, guys. Tall, or just large overall. <laughs> Alrighty, so I am in the garage. Let's just get around here real quick. Um, as you guys saw just not too long ago, guy dropped the joint off the truck. He actually said he has it himself. So to hear someone personally say that they have it, they've drove it, it's gotten some good speed. It's got good mileage. He likes the thing. Drives it around the uh, whatever area. I forgot he said he's in. What is it? Boulevard or something like that, or Boulder City, something like that. I don't know. He drives it around that area. It's very nice because on the website they proclaim this thing can only do up to 20 miles an hour, but this is 2,000 watts. Now, um, my scooter, my Nanobot T6 Plus, is 2,000 watts. A thousand watt in each motor, just like this. Now it may be much lighter than the, uh, the scooter may be much lighter than this. But that doesn't mean that at some point it shouldn't be able to get that speed. So I'm thinking 20 miles per hour for 2,000 watts. This scooter is really tight. But for 2,000 watts, only 20 miles per hour? Something seemed wrong. So there's a video guy I was testing it. He got up to 32 miles an hour. And then just the guy who dropped it off in the truck, he said he got hit probably an average to 35 because he was keeping up decently with traffic. So that's very nice to hear. Even though, um, because I don't know, uh, I don't know what I was about to say then. But... Oh, that's what I was about to say. Um, I don't know if we'll ever really get that speed because me and my brother, we'd be speeding on our scooters. Uh, but my parents, I don't think they're ever going to really drive fast like that. But just get you, they just say, for, forget it. Let's just get some speed up on this joint. They actually could because my dad has the same scooter we have. 
and my mom, she can do up to 30. And I think my brother, his bike, I don't know why he said his bike can do up to 40. I'm, I'm well, maybe, because my scooter on one wheel can do about a top speed of 30. Actually, yeah, I think I've done about a 37, 36 miles an hour on one wheel on my scooter on, on the highest gear, which is gear three. So I'm not still not really sure about 40, but maybe he can get up to 30. That is not big enough. Okay, so I got a lot of these stupid little metal things that were all wrapped around here. I don't know if y'all saw them, but I, I'm having a hard time getting too much of everything because of this cage. So, so far, I see that on each side of the bottom, at the very end, they unscrew from the bottom, and then there's some that unscrew from the top. And half of this is already broken open, so if these were here, because if these weren't here, then this would probably be all scratched up. But I'm going to attempt to do that real quick. Then I'm going to try to take this cage off and put it somewhere so I can start ripping this stuff off the plastic and getting the rest of these two little metal things off. And I'm probably going to end up opening the garage soon. I had the garage door closed because it's rare, but here and there there's always this big carpet bee and a big ass wasp that flies around and it scares the shit out of me. Um, so I get paranoid, but it's not constant. Sometimes it's rare, but yeah, I don't know. All right, one thing I didn't need to do was to cut open the plastic parts right here to see if there's any tools, manuals, chargers. There's probably a charger right here. Yep, there goes the charger. See that nicely. I need to turn my camera right this up. It's too dark for these darker areas and stuff. This is just a... Okay, wait, no, this is a, some sort of manual and a little tool. I was hoping this comes with a couple little tools to get some of these stuff out because I don't feel like going back and forth asking my dad for his tools. And, Finding them and all that. This is a fuse or something like that. So if a battery dies or something, it goes straight to this. It doesn't kill everything else. This is probably a tool to put on the actual handbars and stuff. Um, right now I'm having a problem with this stupid cage. Okay, so just in case anyone gets a cage in their scooter package like me, I'm not 100% sure it's gonna work because I didn't fully do it, but I'm about to grab it from the back here and I went to pull it and it rolled out a little bit so I'm see how far I can work out. Maybe I don't need to screw up in this cage. Okay, so you want to get you a wrench, whatever screw you have to fit this hex screw. I'm not exactly sure of the millimeter size. And of course the wrench for one of these. I just got the first one off the bottom and I'm about to get the second one that's on the bottom because there's two on each side. So I can possibly just bend it off. I could probably just bend this, maybe. I don't know if I'm that strong. <laughs> All right, it's a little dark, but um, I finally got out the cage. There it goes. So to basically have this thing pretty much fully assembled, because it's already fully assembled, I just need to take a, a bolt that's right here off so I can slap the handlebars on and then re put the bolt back on with the handlebars on. So, whatever this is, I'll figure it out in a minute. Um, this fuse, or this is a fuse, not whatever it is. This fuse, whatever this fuse is for, it might just be an extra. I don't know if I literally have to open up the scooter right now and put this in. This, once again, just might be an extra fuse. All right, so now this is the bolt I was talking about. If you can see it, you can. Yeah, okay, take this bolt off. They give you a large hex, hex screw to do that. I always seem to forget which way I have to spin this guy to loosen it up. There we go. And I don't have to move the camera because it's too close, but once you get that off, and you put the handlebars on. And another thing I'm liking about this is I see a key ignition, which just means this turns on by key. It's probably in this. I'm assuming it's in this, maybe. Just that. Okay, what am I doing? Oh, no. uh, yeah, you put it on there like that. Because I don't know where to put the camera right now. Okay, finally opened up the garage. I should have been open. It's way cooler out here. But, got the handlebars on. They're not fully screwed on, but I just wanted to... I'm guessing the keys will be in here, because this is... I don't know actually because this doesn't feel tough. Is that it? No. I don't know what I just saw, but I thought I saw it. Oh, there it is. Aha. Oh, okay, good. They didn't get the key. That might be a problem. Okay. Yeah. 
Am I still recording? I am. Alright, the key's right here. So we need to cut that off. I don't know how to do that with a knife, but yeah. Um, let's peel this off. That's actually your battery indicator and all that. Let's peel this off with lights. I was using uh, stem tree bush thing cutters. Uh, we have bolt cutters. I was using these. Whatever these things are called. We have bolt cutters, but these were working, so I'm just continuing using these. Alright, I got the GoPro mounted to my head. I got the keys out. I'm about to sneak this joint. Uh, the throttle on this is really smooth. I usually didn't, like, for my bike project, I didn't want to get a throttle because I thought it would be rough like your old r razor. But this throttle is smooth. My throttle is actually pretty amazing. I oh, the key go here. My thumb and my pointer finger half the time. We're full on power? <laughs> oh, this thing is torquey just like as I expected. Okay, kick stands down. Uh, we took the things off so there's nothing in the way. The brakes on this thing are nice. These are real tough. This thing is torquey. I wonder how it is to turn. It's not so bad. It doesn't seem like it so far. I'm already gonna get some speed before they come out here. Yeah, this throttle's real smooth. Yo, I don't know the speed because this thing doesn't have a speedometer on it. It's just power, I guess. I thought it would have more. I don't know how to turn the light to this thing on though. We're just sneaking ourselves a quick test ride. I will go around the neighborhood, but once again, I'm sneaking it, so. I'm not going to do that. I need to mount my phone to this to see what speed I'm getting, but this easily does 20. So I know this thing's max speed is more than 20. Are they out there? <laughs> I snuck it. I'm sneaking it. This thing is nasty. Yeah. I'll sneak in it before mommy comes out <laughs> doing it for the channel. Ooh, okay, this is too heavy. I can't turn this around. It's the throttle is very like 120 heavier than me. Oh, the light's already on. So the light turns on automatically. You just go. You just twist the throttle. The throttle is pretty smooth, so yeah, you want to be careful. Yeah, it's torquey. It's it's two thousand watts in one motor. I thought it'd be both. So this is just one. Yeah, it only has one, so all that power goes to the one motor. That is, that's the horn. That's things uh, loud. That's it, break. I do not have a horn. I'm gonna need one. Wait, does the kit come with a horn? Okay, yeah, I'm gonna need a horn. Damn, this motherfucker kit. Oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. So yeah, I don't know if the turning is a little is is a little uh, stiff because of the wheels. As you can see, he accelerates off pretty fast. I think my dad's like two fifty. Six feet two fifty. So if you got some height on you, I'm pretty sure you can fit on this well. This thing hits twenty. I'm pretty sure this hits twenty miles per hour nicely. I'm surprised they didn't give this thing a speedometer or nothing. That. I love that. I love that LED light. There's one problem with this. What? I kept holding this and trying to hit this. So I'm gonna warn her to be very, very careful of that. Uh, whiskey throttle, as they call it. Yeah. Wait, chance you about to try it? I see. What in the hell? Until she get out of here, when you hop on, when you done, I'm about to hop back on. Is that a throttle? This is not a throttle. No. No, that's just a grip. Be careful. You will get stuck up in it. This is the rear brake or front. I don't, I don't know. know. It, it stopped me pretty good, though. Yeah. <laughs> Wait till that car go by. <laughs> you know one thing, though? I found it kind of heavy to turn. Yeah, that big fat wheel and the it's weight like, of the thing. You know what I mean? So, yeah, be, this thing goes. be leery of that. And that thing, I'm trying right there. Zoomy. Yeah. <laughs> That is sick. That shit is crazy. 
That might take too long. Huh? Yeah. Hey, Chance, let me see that joint. Just breaking. Um, I, I, like, I gotta go. I gotta. I let my hands off that throttle right away. I don't even actually. I did too. I didn't. Um, I didn't wait, break wait. it that side because. Oh no. I kept wait, you better sit on. Wait, hold on, just hold on. Okay. <laughs> I got caught. Alright, we're gonna do it short. Yo, this thing is nice, man. Dang. This thing is snappy and zoomy. Okay, there's a problem. That handle on the right side is where you turn. It is extremely soft. So yeah. if I was you. What do you mean? Soft. It's like easy to it's throttle and spring. it kicks hard. So I. Whoa! I couldn't get off the grip. I couldn't get off the throttle. No, for some reason. What the? Uh, okay, well, it didn't drop. No, I didn't. I didn't drop it. It's still uh, no damages. <laughs> no, it turns. I turned it off. I turned it off. <laughs> I couldn't <laughs> I was trying to let go but it's hard to because it keeps going away so I don't want to just drop it. Am I I'm hope I'm wait I know it was already like that. No, I said that did. Is this still recording? Also with the way that brace looks like Okay, yeah, good. Alright, well uh like we were just saying, do not do not be careful in the throttle. I cut my thumb. Are you kidding me? Nah, no speedometer. <laughs> hey, better be careful. Hey, you still got your grip on there. <laughs> <laughs> no speedometer though? You gonna have to get like a foam mount. What's up, bro? You know, I'm taking out pretty in pink. I know, right? <laughs> I know, I saw her. <laughs> he almost died. <laughs> <laughs> you know he he, he just flew into the bushes. And I was just playing it to her. That damn thing is easy. It's like injecting it. Why are we talking about it to keep her safe? <laughs> <laughs> you hit the trees? I went right to the bushes. <laughs> I cut my dang thumb. Well, you remember the one on my stand in there? <laughs> Same thing with my kid. Hey, take it easy. I know what I'm doing, Dad. Wow, wow. He ended up in the next door neighbor's driveway. So I run over there and he gets up, but he won't say nothing. He won't even look at Because he thinks I'm a bull. So I pick the bike up and I say, shut the fuck Garage, that's all I said. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <clears throat> yeah, I'm a little bastard guy with a mad kick. Goodness. Oh, where's the, the keys? Oh. Ooh. Alright. We're about to attempt to do this again. Let's attempt to not launch off somewhere while we're doing this, but we got the phone hooked up. It's a little dark out here. Didn't turn my oh. camera's button is up. <laughs> right, let's do this. Yeah. All right, we got the speedometer. About to go around the corner. Keep my hand on the brake. Doing 26, 28, 29. We're getting a max of 29 right now. We hit 30. All right, we hit a max of 30 on that road. You ain't got no sort of turning signals or none. This light is not the brightest. I don't know if you can turn it up or what, but at least people can still see from far away. But so far we got a 30 miles an hour. So my main issue is I just need to make sure to be careful in this damn throttle. I don't know if I'm just filling the road. I'm probably just filling the road, but this scooter is much rumblier, or if that's a word, the scooter rumble, rumbles more than my uh, scooter with the smooth tires does. All right, let's hit it. Oh, down, we're down, we're down to two batteries already. Sometimes it pops back up. All right, 26 miles an hour, 27, 28, 29. Come on, hit that 30. 
We're stuck right at 29. This feels about, okay, 30. We just barely hit 30. This thing rumbles, bro. So this thing would just peak at 30. I wonder if that guy said he got up to about 35. Was he going down hills at those certain times? 30, you can still keep up with traffic decently, kind of. Depends on certain traffic. Some people might be driving slow. Some people will, might be speeding, but the average person is probably going to be doing about 15 miles per hour faster than you. But you can still be on the road with this thing. This thing is nice, though. I don't know if y'all can see the speedometer. I honestly hope you can. I mean, I'm repeating it, but you know, just in case. I don't know how very good you can hear me with this uh, wind. All right. I've gotten a max speed at 30. This thing right here is nice. This must really fill the roll because this train rumbles. It doesn't throw me off control. So it's not like, I guess it's not really a bad thing. But uh, I don't know if it's just the tires or not. That was that was tight though. Got some hydraulic brakes and stuff. That front light looked nice. Oh, you can turn it up? I didn't even know. I would have did that. <laughs> Well, there you go. How did you turn it up? Did you twist the key even more? Twist the key some more. Oh, so that's like my scooter in the garage, the red one. All right, well, I guess that's it for the Moto Tech 2000 Watt. Short little test ride, good little unboxing, uh, a nice fail. Yeah, Speedy Boy Menace. I mean, oh my God, if I don't start getting my gaming channel name, <laughs> my vlog or this channel's name mixed up. Speedy Boy Molly. If y'all enjoyed this video, this is okay. the one box in this test ride. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. I promise this is not becoming an electric vehicle channel. It's just that we've been getting a lot of electric vehicles, and I got another one coming in soon. But anyway, it's been your boy Molly. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And stay tuned for more. Peace.